What's going on guys? Hopefully you guys are doing well and thank you for clicking on the video. Today is going to be a leg day at the gym. I'm going to be by myself filming so forgive me if the quality or the angles are not um, up to par. But I'm going to do the best I can to show you guys the full workout or at least the squat portion. I'm working with um, three by three I believe on both squats and deadlifts. I'm going to do sumo deadlifts today going to warm up really slowly on sumos and just really focus on my technique because I have not done sumos in a long time. I have been working with conventionals for probably around six months or so unless it's just been some random like back off work with the sumo. So going to try that out, going to do a qu some quick accessory work after that, some leg extensions, leg curls, and probably some calf work, maybe some abs, and then I'm going to get out of there. So going to be the main kind of brunt of it. It's going to be the squats and deadlifts, so I'll be sure to show you guys that, and I will talk to you guys when I get to the gym. Alright, so I just got done with the workout guys and I'm gonna kind of do a commentary I'll probably overlay a couple of the clips and show you a few raw clips. I was able to hit um, Pretty much all the numbers that I wanted to hit or around them at least like somewhat Close is what I'm trying to say, but I hit uh, three ex excuse me two sets of 315 for three reps on squats and my form as you can see I put a different angle than I normally do just so you can see kind of how my forward lean as I'm coming out of the hole starts to kind of be more pronounced and I think that I kind of have a, a pelvic tilt um, and it's kind of um, something that's kind of hindering my ability to utilize my posterior chain meaning my glutes and my hamstrings specifically and I really want to build up my glutes and my hamstrings because my quads have always been something that's been more dominant than those other um, muscle groups in the posterior chain so I think that that's why um, well, that's one of the reasons I'm incorporating sumo deadlifts again just to build that up as well as get better at my sumo deadlift while keeping my low back a little bit more healthy so that's kind of the reasoning why I showed you guys that angle which I probably am going to show you either now or I've already showed you and that is kind of the reasoning for me kind of just staying a little lighter on that last set I would have gone for a third set of 315 by 3 but I decided to go 225 for 5 pause so I hit pauses on each of those deep in the hole staying tight as I can while I'm in the hole and then firing out with the upright and neutral spine the whole time while squeezing my upper back as much as I can so I'm really focusing on driving through my heels just really engaging everything at once so that's kind of the main thing I focused on during my squats then after my squats I moved on to sumo deadlifts so I worked up to 225 for 10 or excuse me for 8 and then I did 275 for 8 and then 295 for 8. So my plan is to do kind of the opposite on the next day of this week. So I'm going to do more of a heavy max effort squat or excuse me deadlift. So more rep range between five um, or one and five reps like I did for squats today and then vice versa for my squats next week. So I would do um, rep range between five and ten reps. So kind of like I did with my deadlifts today. So kind of flip flop them. I'll probably still squat first but I'm not sure just because that's what I kind of like to do but I'm not sure if I um, might switch it up we'll see so that's kind of what I did for my squats and my deadlifts my form on my sumos was definitely a little rusty but it felt good once I kind of got in the rhythm and um, as you'll notice on my 275 I did um, I did not kind of reset at the bottom I kind of touched and go I had my headphones in and when I was using the plates today the actual plates it's a lot louder and I thought I was kind of making a lot of noise by doing a full stop but um, I don't like doing touch and go so I was try trying to like really concentrate on lowering the eccentric as much as I possibly can and I know I'm talking really fast right now so I'm sorry about that guys but the main thing I wanted to focus on was lowering the eccentric um, slow and then that last set I actually did a reset like I normally would so that's what I finished with with sumos then I just did um, some leg curls on the leg or excuse me I did some leg extensions rather with some sissy squats as you guys are seeing and I did some RDLs with dumbbells to finish off so I also finished with just a little bit of calves on of calf variation that I like to do with the leg press or the hack squat and that's kind of when I finished the workout up with guys so 
thank you for watching and my camera is about to die it's like on zero percent right now so hopefully I can finish this and I'll talk to you guys very soon please drop a like if you have not already and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content see you guys soon peace out So fly